uh, defense. Mm? They were defense. So that territorial defense, so you, you, you just can't cross anyhow. Especially where there are many girls, the boys there would, would, would get you rough. That was the second one. And then the third one was many girls, and the many girls were for wealth. Our girls, if you, in the past, if a family has about five girls or six, and this girl mature, the, the, the people of the home there would think that they are sure of getting now cow, cows, dowries. Some would even, would even begin constructing kraals eh, in anticipation that the girls would get married and they bring the what? The money. Then, the last one was boys, if they become too many in an area, they would say, you go there. They were men for conquest. That's why Lao, the whole of Lao entered for Motuke. And because of the conquest, people started moving, moving, and then they reached. It was the Nile, Karumba, and then uh, Ku that stopped migration of Lao. And then we were confined here. But now, as the new Lao, the castle leaders, what we advocate for now is that girls must be given equal opportunities for studies. And we are stressing it very, very hard. Of, during this lockdown, we developed a form. And that form was to monitor, monitor the girls that have dropped out or the girls that have been married early, uh, early uh, teenage uh, pregnancies and then also early mar marriages. We are collecting the statistics beginning from March up to November. I think we have, unfortunately, I did not carry it with me, otherwise, I would produce the, the form we have developed. That is to ensure that the past thinking should be transformed. That is education. And education also should be for equal, huh? equal children, whether boys and girls. Uh, 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 the other day, we attended, I was invited for this other workshop for um, uh, men's, menstrual water, menstruation health management, uh, where it was discussed that if a, go, a boy impregnates a girl in the school, when the girl is being given maternity leave, the boy should also be sent away. Uh, if the girl delivers and the girl is given opportunity to what? To come and rejoin school, the boy should also be given. So it will need now tracking the boys. Because in the past, a boy would pregnant a girl and then run away and join another school. We are saying, no, you have caused it, you should also what? Meet the cause. That is education. And then the second one, the second one is that uh, have manageable children. Few number of children. We are advocating the land is stagnant. The land is not moving, the land is not increasing, but the rate of increase in population is going at a fantastic rate. Uganda is one of the countries that is leading in the world in childbirth. The rate is really very, very high. So if we don't tell our people that you reduce and have manageable children that you can cater for them, their education, their welfare, their health, then we will not produce good citizens that can help in running this nation. Then the third one, the third one is how to fight poverty. We are transforming the old thinking of Lango to the new thinking. How to fight poverty. Let every household have something to fight poverty so that they can have a healthy family, healthy children, that can be supported in education, and that can actually be productive. A sick population is a population which is not very productive. If a population is sick, then the population is not, we not, we not, we not produce what is enough. And then, uh, lastly, out, the, out of the four, we shall say, or we say that, please, conserve the environment, and then also land land and environmental conservation because we have been given on this planet to harness it well this planet we have made to harness it well
and we should make sure that what is whatever is around us we should maintain it and maintain it for the future generation there's a lot of depletion of environment when you go to the wetland it's terrible the wetland is terrible forest trees are being cut at alarming rate not thinking that the past people also left land for us they, they secured it for us but the present generation the rate at which they are working on the, on the land is really it, 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 is, it, it causes a concern so as council leaders we are fighting it, it is within my dock within my my ministry that we want peace harmony reconciliation and also we need people who are socially and culturally they because people without a culture are finished any person or people without culture is already finished culture you can be swallowed up with other people's culture and then you will have nowhere to move madam i want to thank you and thank everybody who have come for this function